Hey, how's everybody doing? Here we go. Taking part, setting it up, getting it on the grill. I got my chimney going. Whoa, it's getting kind of windy out. I'm surprised because it's not wind day. Get it? Wind. Wind. Ah! Anyway, got the ribs here. And we're getting set up. Already cleaned off the grill. Lubed it up a little bit. Some spray. A little garbage bin. So, presentation side first. It will be the top with all the meat on it. Some searing, some serious searing. So, I'm done with that part. Anyway, give yourself a beverage, some tea. Or, in my case, some Sioux City sarsaparilla. Anyhow, got it cooking right here. Okay. So, it's happening. I'm going to let that cook for about five minutes. Rotate it. At a little slight angle. And then flip it over. Cook it for another five minutes or so. And then it's time to wrap it up and just let it cook in there inside its pocket. So, make each one into a little foil pocket. And that's where you lock it in. Um, you can also use your barbecue sauce in there. Um, you can use... Uh, the barbecue sauce you make uh, a really great one this one I just developed get your favorite kind of mustard and mix in a tablespoon at a time of uh, Italian dressing and it makes one heck of a barbecue sauce and it does pack a wallop especially if you put jalapenos in there um, various chilies, um, anything works, but, uh, it's kind of a Kansas City style, as you get to Kansas City, you, you have, you, it's not even necessarily a mop-on sauce, but you can add some water and make it into that, certainly, um, Texas is the home of the, you know, the sweet barbecue, molasses, tomato, um, hot sauce, paprika, um, and then you get to North Carolina, it's even more vinegary and bitter, and that's what they're all about, and that's from, like, the Northeast and such, but if you want to make a cheap, uh, Kansas City-style mustard-based sauce, um, it's really inexpensive to do because most of the time you got some Italian dressing sitting around. Uh, throw a little Parmesan in there too, and you got you got some good stuff. Time to rotate the ribs. getting a good sear on it. I'm hoping the flavor of these ribs is truly mind-blowing. Because it's always good to cook something and have it work out. Beverage. 
range. Sioux <coughs> City. It's Hesperella. You're coming with me. Sometimes I worry when it's flaring up if it might be getting too done or too cooked on any part of it, so I'll just have to keep my eye on there. And then you can always take it like this and look at it. And just see, look. Yeah, now I'm, that one's getting way cooked. So, yeah, we don't want it that. That's a little too hot right there. So, what we're going to do... set up use Reynolds wrap try to get that when I can because the cheap stuff it's like yeah it's cheap but it is really super thin and rips easy and just kind of I don't know it upsets me but hey if you get your system down for using it and it saves you money that's a good thing so alright back over here follow me now to the ribs man ain't working out too good there so these are going to be ready to wrap up here momentarily and I'm just doing that to seal it in. And then I'm going to let it cook for about two more hours uh, on the side where it doesn't have the coal and the heat and stuff. And then after that, it's I'll take it off and just leave them unwrapped at the end and put my barbecue sauce on. So, anyway, hope everyone's having a great explosive memorial day um, to my friends with PTSD, I apologize for that, but, um, you know, people light off fireworks, it's a part of being an American, so I think it should be allowed, anybody, rock out with your hawk out, um, notice I said hawk and not something else, because that would be an aggravated assault. Wrap it up in foil, put it on the side that doesn't have the coal. Two more hours, you want it to be at about 250. Uh, 275 will be alright, but it might hurry up your cooking a little bit too fast. So, anyway. Oh, Ohio goes Hagimas. Konnichiwa. We're not doing anything Asian at all, I don't